Hello everyone um, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, the first lecture that we're going to do is a themes lecture, which is the introduction to bioethics and moral theories. Um, and the first thing is that every choice is an ethical choice. Um, every decision that you make, every choice you make has some sort of ethical component. Um, bioethics is applicable in medicine, biotech, research, health policy and law. Then we go on to the moral theories. Now there are five core moral theories, um, which are we going to explain in this lecture. Um, the first one is virtue ethics. Then it's the ontology, utilitarianism, Ubuntu, um, and also principalism. Um, okay, so virtue ethics is something that you should do to improve your character, to become a flourishing person, to be good at life. Um, virtue ethics aims to develop virtues, which is good stuff, and tries to avoid vices, which is bad stuff. Um, so virtue ethics, positive points, is provides an account of living well, importance of improving moral character, shows the importance of developing good habits to become flourishing and to become a good person. The criticism is that virtue ethics doesn't tell you what to do, it just tells you to aim to develop virtues and avoid vices. Um, but what is virtues and what is vices? Um, that's the problem of virtue ethics. Um, also, a example that we did uh, in the lecture is that if one is standing next to a railroad and there's a train heading towards five people, they're going to kill five people, but you have a button which you can divert the train, but in diverting the train, it will kill one person. So if you can press the button to direct the train to kill one person or leave it and the train will kill five person, uh, a virtue ethicist won't be able to tell you what to do in a situation because it only says aim to develop virtues and avoid vices. Therefore, um, it doesn't give advice about what to do, especially in such situations. Um, the next... The, um, Moral theory is the ontology. Um, the ontology um, respects universal morals. And universal morals across different religions and cultures are three things. One is, is that you're not allowed to kill someone. You're not allowed to steal and to lie. Um, because once people start killing one another, and, um, there will be no persons left. Once everyone starts to steal something, property will be invaluable. And once some, everyone starts to lie, nothing is going to be the truth. Um, therefore, a deontologist will not break these universal morals, such as you can't kill someone or you can't steal or lie. They won't break those rules, even if it's to save a life. Um, if a hitman turns up to a deontologist um, door, and the ontologist know that he's a hitman and ask where is that person. The ontologist will tell them if they know because they're not allowed to lie. So therefore, a deontologist doesn't care about the consequences of their actions. Just They just care about not breaking these universal morals. Um, a deontology also respects dignity and autonomy. Therefore, the positive points is they, prov they provide rules and concrete guidance, um, such as they can't kill, steal, lie. Um, yeah, and they also, they, it's a way to determine the universal moral of law, but the criticism is it completely ignores the consequences of a rule. Also, if you use the same railroad example, um, a deontologist where the train is directly going to five people, but you can press a button to divert it, to only one person, a deontologist won't press the button because he's not allowed to kill. Therefore, if he presses the button, his actions will kill one person. Whereas he doesn't press the button, his action won't kill someone. It's just, um, yeah. So that's how the deontologist works. They, they um, respect the universal morals and they won't break it. Okay. So the next... Um, Moral theory is utilitarianism. Um, and utilitarianism will act in a way for the greater good. It will act in a way to create more happiness for the majority. 
So utilitarianism is, in some way, the exact opposite of a deontology. Therefore, utilitarianism only looks at the consequences of his actions. So therefore, utilitarianism will lie, kill or steal if it's for the greater good, if it creates more happiness for the majority. It only looks at the consequences. Um, therefore, yeah, what is good for the majority? So the positive point of a utilitarianism is it provides concrete guidance of what to do. It takes into con consequences. But the criticism is lead to unacceptable um, conclusions. Also means it's fine to kill. Yep. Because utilitarianism will kill, steal and lie if it's good for the majority. And also impartiality. Yep. With moral relationships, there's also some problems. Uh, if you use the exact same... Um, the exact same example about the railroad track, a utilitarian will definitely press the button to divert the train to the person um, on the track because it will want to create the most happiness for the majority. Therefore, five people versus one. Um, so a utilitarian will definitely press the button. Okay. Uh, and then the next theory is Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu, there's also many variants. Uh, variants, but <clears throat> in Ubuntu, the emphasis is on harmonious relationships. Um, therefore, uh, Ubuntu will act in a way that promotes and respects harmonious relationships. Um, the good points is to provide reasons to follow common practices. Yeah, so if you want to encourage harmonious relationships, you won't kill large steel. Um, yeah, and the provides grounds for partiality towards friends and family. Criticism, it may justify two special treatment, yeah. You will treat friends, family, co-workers um, in two special ways. Therefore, it can lead to corruption, xenophobia, um, nepotism, all these type of things. Um, if you could use the exact same railroad track example, um, Ubuntu will uh, definitely press the button because then it saves five people's lives, which will lead to more harmonious relationships. But if those five, if that one person which you press the button for is someone like your mother or a friend, um, Ubuntu won't press the button because it leans to harmonious relationships and therefore it wants to protect harmonious relationships. Therefore, we'll, only, we'll rather kill five people than to lose someone you have a harmonious relationship with. Okay, then the next moral theory, which isn't actually a theory, um, is principalism. So yeah, so principalism is not really a theory, but it's more of a guide or a framework to help healthcare professionals to make decisions. Now there are four guides. Um, the first is autonomy, which is um, respect for persons, which means treating other people and their choices as valuable. Um, the next is um, benefits, which means to do good or to act in the best interests of your patients or others. Uh, the next is non maleficence which means to not do harm. Um, the next is justice. Um, justice is to ensure that the benefits and harm are justifiable or the benefits and harm are fairly distributed. Um, principalism, good points is useful allows us a framework of decisions yeah. so it, um, it guides your decisions um, but the criticism the big criticism is that principalism is based on principles which means it doesn't give you exact concrete what you should do in specific situations more um, of principles okay so moral theories in summary virtue ethics is to become a good person to um, to uh, aim for virtues and avoid vices, to develop good character, etc. The ontology is to obey the moral laws, which are you may not kill, steal, or lie. They also respect autonomy and um, yeah, they also respect autonomy. Um, active utilitarianism is to create more happiness for the majority. Um, act so so that bring the best consequences. Yeah, they look at the consequences. Whereas the ontology. The consequences doesn't matter at all. 
Ubuntu is act in a way that furthers harmonious relationships. Um, and in principalism, there's four, it's autonomy, um, respect for others. So um, take other people and their choices as valuable. Benefits is um, to do good. Malmenefits is not to do harm. And justice is to distribute benefits and harms fairly. Um, thank you for listening to this video. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe.